Anthony Joshua against Dillian White, August 12th, a massive fight for the heavyweight division. A little bit more than seven years ago, these two came head to head. A lot has changed. I don't, really, I don't together, really look at Dillian as a rival though. No? No, no. Just another body, really. Cheers, boys. Cheers. Respect. You gonna give us violence, boys? Hundred <laughs> percent. This is familiar. Mm. This is going back, almost reversing years to 2015, that showdown, nearly eight years ago. Do you think you can stop AJ? Of course I can. Impossible. Of course I can. Impossible. I was dead last time. I my shoulder injury, they know that. I don't think Dylan can stop me. To be anywhere in boxing, you've got to work hard, so I'm, I'm assuming you put in a lot of work. You mean you're assuming you're putting in a lot of work? No, you, I'm assuming you put in a lot of work. I don't know, I'm not with you to say, like, yeah, did he, Dylan does this and this and this. I can only assume. I don't know what you do. I don't know how many miles you run. Need to do all of so that's why I can assume maybe you don't work hard then if you don't need to yeah, do all of that. Why, why do you want to shake no, my hand? You don't shake. Why do you want to shake my hand? You just spot certain man. Why do you want to shake? I don't want to shake my hand, Dylan. They say me a Jamaican wrestler, man. You don't want to shake my hand. No, listen. You know I know you like these Jamaican dogs. They say me him. That's what you. But you don't want to shake my hand. I just spot you, bro. Okay. I spot you, bro. That's okay. a certain. It's not everyone's okay. hand you shake, bro. It's I respect you as a fighter, mm. but I gotta bring the heat and I've got a fight to win. Let's roll. So the touchdown in Las Vegas, second leg of the training camp. I'm feeling energized, I'm feeling refreshed. So yeah, come inside, have a look what's going on. Tough training, tough lifestyle, rough and tough. But listen, how else would I want it? I love it. So what am I bringing differently? I wouldn't say a new mindset, but definitely like a new perspective. But ultimately, everything new has to lead to a win. So yeah, that's what I'm focused on right now, is just winning. With training camp, it's grueling, like, there's no doubt about that but you just need to have a clear mind and be optimistic and run towards challenges every day. And that's how I am able to get through is just the perspective I have on what suffering looks like. There's a certain standard that one has to have if they want to achieve certain things. I am working past efforts, measures that I set out for myself. Yes, it's tough. Yes, I'm tired. Yes, my body does feel it. As much as I want to win, when I see someone around me that wants to win just as much as me, it gives me motivation. I'm the one on the battlefield and I'll go out and conquer so I can bring harvest back to my team. I actually think I work hard, but you work hard. The coach said to me today, he goes, I was like, he heard me. I said to myself, man, this guy's killing me. And he said, that's the thing. He said, I'm killing you. But he said something like, wouldn't you kill to be great? As much as I want to win for myself, I also want to win for my coach. I respect him and his time and effort that he puts in. So what's riding on it for me is the respect and I want to win for my coach really. That's what's riding for me on it because I, I want to go back to camp and he knows that everything he's taught me and the time he's put into me has not been wasted really. So that's what's important to me. How's a fight like? You train 12 weeks you're sparring, you're hitting the heavy bag. Then you fight one guy and it's like hell. You go through hell to win. Yeah. I think that's what it is. I mean, really, it's like you're fighting on a high level. So when you're fighting on a high level, you should expect him to be where he is. If he's not, he's going to get wiped away. Wipe, wipe the floor with him. I believe every fight's a dangerous fight. In, in context of Dylan, yeah, he's a dangerous fighter for sure. Every heavyweight's dangerous. Especially when they're coming up against me, uh, not many people in the division want to see me do well. And that's what I believe anyway. So I believe that, in the sense, people will smile in your face and stab you behind your back. So I've got to kind of keep my wits about me and be clever. Day Dylan is dangerous because of me. He wants to beat me. Do the rest, do the work in here, leave the rest of the universe. It's going to be a fight, bro. Like. 
two big, strong heavyweights going at it, and I believe there will be a knockout. And it has to come from my side. It has to. I, I need to win. It's my. Uh, it's what I've been praying for, and I believe what you ask, you shall be given.